What's your name? Anthony. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Would you rather buy a $250 glove, brand new, or buy a $180 glove used? Everybody. Brand new. Brand new? Brand new, brand new. Spend money on new. What is broken right Brand new. I see, I like your answer. Continue. Are you the glove guy? I am the glove guy. Whether you're buying a $100 glove or a $400 glove, not everybody wants to pay full price. I'm actually gonna talk about like six specific places to go look for a used glove. Then we're gonna talk about what it is that you need to do once you actually have the glove. When it comes to getting a used glove, it's mostly searching online. But there is another way you can actually physically go somewhere and shop for a used glove. We also need to talk about things to look out for, things to be careful not to buy when you're searching. Just because a glove is cheap and it says Heart of the Hide or A2000 or Mizuno Pro, it doesn't mean that it's a good glove. Number one is pretty dang obvious. You don't want to have any damages to the glove, any gashes in it. Along with that, you don't want any broken laces. This next one might not bother everyone, but you generally don't want any names on the glove. Some of you might not care. I'm gonna like the glove more if it doesn't have some random guy's name. And then the next biggest thing, which can be kind of the hardest to tell, try to figure out if the person broke it in well and took care of the glove well. Especially when the crease is on just the thumb or just the pinky, you can tell it's a little bit of an odd break in. At the same time though, maybe that's how you break your glove in, which makes it even better. Who knows? This might be obvious for some people, but the best way to tell if a glove has been used a lot or not is by looking in the palm. That's clearly where everybody's catching the ball, so it's easy to tell if it's gotten a lot of use. If you can still see that gold palm stamp and stuff like that, it probably hasn't been used a ton, which is a good sign. The first thing we're going to talk about is actually Mercari, which is just an app that felt sponsored the way I said that. I don't know why. You can actually see it in my search history. I literally just type in baseball glove. And then the next best thing to make sure you do is make sure it's filtered at newest. That way, fresh gloves are there for you. This is actually a pretty good example. Okay, so this Academia glove right here isn't too bad of a glove. It's like 180, 200 bucks and they're selling it for 60 bucks. So, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could hop on that, but I'm gonna see if I can find something better. And that's just the very first thing. And you can see, posted 41 minutes ago. That's probably gonna end up selling. Here's a Rawlings Primo, $400. That's expensive. I want one of those so bad though. Ugh, I need one. Wilson, A2000 first basement. They're selling it for 200. Still not good enough. I think we could find something cheaper. A Mizuno Global Elite for 175. That's actually not a horrible price. I actually had a Global Elite back in high school and I was actually a decent fan of it. Boom, here we go. Another Global Elite. It looks like it has a little bit more wear and tear on it. 11 and a half inches, 130. Like that's a pretty solid price. I'm not finding any amazing deals on Mercari, so we're gonna continue on. Now on to eBay. Just to be clear, I did the same exact thing. I did baseball glove and filtered it to newest. On eBay, you'll actually notice that there's just way more listings overall, so it's a lot more to filter through. And don't forget, you can almost always message the seller to offer a lower price. Don't go and lowball people, but if you wanted maybe like 10 bucks cheaper, you could suggest that. That's a cool glove, holy cow. Vintage Louisville Slugger TPX Horween. I had one of these, but in black. It was more of like a pitching glove model. Oh, that is so cool. I wish I could buy it. We definitely saw some options on eBay, but nothing stuck out as like the perfect match. So let's move to the next one. This is probably where I find the best deals, and it's actually Facebook Marketplace. If you go on the Facebook app, there's just a little thing at the bottom that's marketplace. Same thing, we're just simply going to type in baseball glove and go. Here's a Louisville Slugger Icon Series for $90. I actually have this glove and I would say $90 is a great price. If you can find this glove under hundred bucks, totally, totally buy it. Okay, here we go. 175 for this Rawlings Heart of the Hive. So, this glove, just looking at the pictures, it looks like he wore it two in the pinky and it looks like he generally took care of his glove. So this is a pretty solid option for a glove that's already broken in and the owner actually took care of it. Now I didn't show you everything that I saw on Facebook Marketplace, but it's definitely the most consistent when it comes to showing me nice gloves for a decent price. I'm just gonna quickly mention the next one, Craigslist. Most of us have heard of that. Some of the younger guys out there, maybe you haven't, but it's worth just checking because you never know. Typically Craigslist is meant to be like pickup only. So you email or text the person, hey, I saw your glove, let's meet up at so-and-so, pick it up, go. Be safe whenever you're doing this kind of stuff. You never know. I mean, if they tell you, hey, meet me at this address and it's like a random alley, probably shouldn't go. Now, both of these aren't 
going to save you a ton of money, but there are quick ways to go find a solid glove. The first one is actually JustGloves.com. If you look at JustGloves.com and hit menu and look at close out gloves, in the filters section, you can actually choose used. So here's a few examples. The Rawlings R9 series, normally 130, you can buy it for 99. Here's a Wilson A2000, normally 250 or used for 195. That's if you're just looking for a glove quickly, you want it used, you want it cheaper, great option. Now, my last option is actually one of my favorite stores to visit, Play It Again Sports. Now, if you don't have a Play It Again Sports around you, you may have something that's basically the same thing, just called something different. I actually ended up going to Goodwill and Play It Again Sports. If you are extremely lucky, you can find something at Goodwill but it's really extremely unlikely. But Play It Against Sports had a decent selection of gloves. A lot of them are brand new, so they're just sold at full price. And then the ones that were used were pretty dang beat up, honest. I didn't find a single glove that was sort of in the middle where it's broken in, but not almost dead. Every single Play It Against Sports is individually owned, but all the ones that I go to, they're definitely pretty pricey. So when you find a good glove there, you're not saving a ton of money, but sometimes you are saving a few bucks. Also, you can find some really cool, really weird stuff. For example, look at this ridiculous web. I've never seen this before. But let's talk about what I actually got. I actually didn't get anything. I know it's kind of a bummer, but the reality is when you're trying to find a used glove, it's not just a one day thing. For a lot of you out there, paying a little bit more money just to get a glove right away might be easier. But for those of you out there kind of like me who just love finding good deals, you gotta be super persistent. I had a very lonely and defeated drive home. What we can do now though is actually talk about what to do when you do get a used glove. All right, so I know this glove is lefty, but it's a great example of a very beat up glove. When I first got this glove, there was some clear signs that it was very dry and needed a lot of work. I left a lot of the work undone, but I did do things like conditioning. Conditioning the glove made a massive difference to just the overall comfort. And then one of the next biggest things is this glove was broken into somebody else's hand. So just using it as much as possible is gonna start helping it kind of get used to your hand and it's gonna feel more normal on your hand. One of the reasons I actually got this glove is because when I put my hand in it, it honestly felt normal. Whoever had this glove was wearing it two in the pinky, finger out, and I'm totally okay with it. If I was trying to game this thing, I would go through, relace it, and use it a ton and a ton and a ton until it's a little bit more used to my hand. As I mentioned before, getting a used glove is mostly about being very persistent. I actually made a video very similar to this topic a couple of years ago, so you should click on it if you're interested. But go ahead and let me know what you guys do when you're trying to find a used glove.